Hey, in this screencast, you're going to learn how to override variables. Because in the previous one, you learned how to create variables on the root element, which points to the root element in our document, which is this HTML tag here. And CSS variables works so that all the children of the element in which you declare the variable on have access to that variable. And as our entire markup on the page is a descendant of the HTML tag, our CSS variables were available throughout the entire application. However, there might be cases where you, for example, want the variables to change a little bit in certain sections of the app. And that's where overriding comes in, which is really handy and not something something you can do with SAS and less variables, as they know nothing of the DOM, whereas CSS variable does. So you can tell a CSS variable that you want the value to change, for example, inside a given element. And we're going to do that in the items because here we want our because here we want our red color to be a little bit softer. And I've actually added the new value down here, so I'm going to copy that. And inside of the item, we'll do the exact same thing as we did up in the root. We'll simply do dash dash red, and we'll paste in this value. And now you can see that the red color inside the items changed. And what's happening here is that the h1 tag, which is using the red variable, and the button, which is also using the red variable for its background, now has a red variable, which refers to the updated value, since they are inside of the item. Let's have a look at that in the HTML. Here is the item elements. You can see it has an h1 wrapped inside of it, and a button as well. And inside of each of these items, We've flipped the, the red variable from this value up here to this value down here. And the red variable is inherited down to its children. So all the elements inside of the items get their red variables updated as well. That's a really neat thing that the variables are inherited down in the document tree. Notice though that for the h1 tag up here, which as we can see is outside of the divs with the class of item, the red value is still the original one up here. Okay, so that was it. I'll see you in the next screencast.